My name is Dr. Layla Jerome Clay. I am the director of the Sickle Cell Program here at John Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Hello, good morning. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm Dr. Clay. Nice Angela. to see you again. <laughs> I love what I do. So I've always wanted to be a hematologist, but I think what really drove me to sickle cell disease was having friends that had the disease itself. So sickle cell disease is actually the number one genetic disorder nationally. It is seen approximately in over 110,000 people in the United States. So how's it, how they been? So I know Melanie was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So with sickle hemoglobin, their red cells are all shaped in a sickle phase, which is the C-shape. Do you want to step up for me? And with sickle episode, those little cells get stuck within the blood vessels. And because they are very stiff, they cause a lot of pain to these kids. We provide care for kids, adolescent and young adults. We see them until the age of 21. And we actually would love to actually prolong that to even higher in age so that we can have a better way of transitioning these kids to adulthood. Oh, this is such a cute shirt. Can I see your tummy? And I think my view of my view of the disease is different. I, I have seen a 70-year-old with sickle cell disease. So when I see a 17-year-old, I'm like, look, you need to get yourself together because you can live long. So that's one thing when you become, when you go to an adult facility, they may not know that. I think what I love the most is that I love to talk to teenagers because I feel like they really are young adults. They're really learning their way. Correct, make your appointment, what else? It's really overall health. It's not just the medication, the nutrition, the hydration, all of that, you know, the mental health. Ready to be an adult? We are very unique in the fact that we actually have a psychologist who works with us, with our patients, especially the ones that have to struggle with their mental health. It's not just the knowledge of medicine, but it's also the personal relationship you have with your patients. Where's your heart? Very good. We have a great program here and I'm excited to see it grow. I'm excited to see the possibilities of what we can do here at Johns Hopkins All Children.